Good morning, guys. They say that a bird in the bush, or a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush, right? Oh man, I was so hoping there, a bird just flew in here. And he probably flew out and I didn't see him. Good morning. Just wanna make sure I don't get attacked by birds again. And today I'm working on a 1965 Plymouth Barracuda. Awesome. Hmm. First appointment of the day is done and that ended up being um, a bad starter and it sat for three years so there's a lot of moisture inside and at first I didn't have any power inside and then power miraculously appeared and then it still wouldn't crank over, diagnosed the starter, replaced the starter, was able to crank over. I believe there's still an intermittent problem. Um, most likely corrosion in the ignition switch. I know this is all car talk 101, but the more you use the ignition switch, uh, theoretically, the better it should uh, work. But uh, yeah, for a while there, it was cranking and not starting. And I thought that I might have had a lack of spark condition, but tested all that stuff, points condenser, coil, coil resistor, cap rotor, wires, plugs, all that was good. I uh, just needed to prime a little bit of fuel in the carburetor and we were good to go. So here we are, off to the next one. The next one is um, ball joints. <laughs> I worked on ball joints yesterday, that was not fun. Not on this car, different car. Ball joints and half shafts on a Subaru. And these are kind of difficult because uh, Subaru in this year uses a uh, roll pin to go through the half shaft. That's a pain in the butt. I just don't like it. <laughs> but that's what we gotta do. All right, so this next job is uh, both half shafts and both lower ball joints on a 98 Subaru. Oh my gosh, the sun is beating down on me. My sunscreen is probably worn off and I'm working in full sun. Woohoo! I'm literally pulling out of my job right now. And, uh, whoo! Oh my god. I know, leave it to me, and I've said this many, many, many times over the years. Leave it to me to complain about the sun and complain about the rain and complain about the cold. It's not, it's, it's sunny, but it's not too warm yet. But working in the sun is warm. All right. I got a couple runs out here to make stuff. Get back home. Four o'clock, weekend time. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, chick, chick, chicks. I just got through giving them a bunch of strawberries. Well, not full strawberries, but strawberry trimmings. Oh, it's such a beautiful day. Yeah, I'm dehydrating them all. Huh? I got five trays, I think, of strawberries. We have so many strawberries this I, year. I just got another bowl of them today. Wow. All right, so Phoenix and his friend just got through playing in the pool. I just got through sitting down over there for a little while. And it's time to probably get to work again. Oh gosh, the sun. <laughs> it's nice. It is nice, but it's not. Well, here's an update on my bush. Again, everything up there is done. The last thing, well, everything here is done. Last thing I have to do is up here, which I'm not sure if you guys can see the string here, but there's a string there. And I just have this section left to do right there and then I'll be done except for dun, 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 that back section and I can't reach it from over here well most of it that's uh, on the neighbor's side so I'm probably gonna have to go to my neighbor and say hey let me trim your bush we have a one yard waste container just about full we have oh my goodness uh, we'll probably be able to get two more yard waste containers there's a lot of shrub here. But anyway, cutting them back hard like this is great because uh, later this summer and then next spring, it will have nice green leaves on a lot of it. And uh, it'll be easier to maintain. Sometimes you just gotta cut them back hard. So there you go. There's the update on my bush in case you guys were curious. 
Oh, there's Buffy. Coda is. Oh, there he is. What, what, hey guys. What are you doing in there by yourself? Sleeping on the bed. You're not supposed to be on the bed with no permission. What? Really? <laughs> Whatever. All right. So I just got through editing everything up to this point. Yes, I am lobster face right now. I feel like a lobster face. Do I look like a lobster face? Yeah, pretty dark. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, uh, Phoenix did not did not make an appearance in today's vlog. He didn't. No. Oh wow. Because it was like when he was taking a shower and after his friends had left that we filmed out back, and then I was at work all day. And then I didn't film, I filmed my bush just a little while ago, and but I didn't film uh, dinner or anything, so. Wow. Hey, hey, shh. Quiet. Now we have to make up for that tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, we'll make up for that. Uh, <laughs> we'll make up that for that tomorrow. Uh, he is still here, just to let you know. Um, and then uh, we still haven't done, so you'll see, and I, I know, I, I know it probably is more my stress than your guys's, I guess, probably. Yeah. yeah, I just, I always want to make sure that I include everybody okay, and, well, oh, I can have this? Yeah, wow, good. I've always wanted a cord. Now you got one. Yay! Do you need this for anything? What is that? Oh. Uh, no, I don't even know what that is. Where was it? On the floor. Oh, I don't need that. It's been on the floor for quite a while and I kept putting it up by your work stuff because I thought that it was, Oh, no, I don't know how to do that. So Angie's been putting everything back and dusting everything because when the windows were done, oh my gosh, massive amounts of hey, dust Buffy, all over Buffy. the place. Yeah, shh. Stop. You're so noisy. Stop. But I'm being good right now. I'm chewing on my bone just like you guys want because I'm just sitting here just doing things, just being myself. What do you want? What do you want from me? You should put your bedding away and wash it because it's all dirty. I don't have opposable thumbs. I don't understand what you want from me. <laughs> I'm a good boy. <laughs> okay. Um, I know I have no idea what this is. Recreational vehicles. This isn't even mine. This can't be mine. It's not mine. I thought that you were saving it because it's got a color 2907 on it. No. Nope. Whatever that is, I don't know. Hmm. Buffy, stop. Shh. Okay, anyway, um, I still need everybody's outros. We have a new one tonight. A longtime viewer and, um, and personal friend of ours. <laughs> Got everybody off guard there, huh? Don't worry. You really should just wrap this up because you're just digging a weirder. No, I'm okay. I'm I'm not going to I'm not going to dig a weird hole. Uh, we also have a new outro from Marie Winton that we'll uh, showcase here in the next couple days. Oh, you smell horrible. Oh, thank you. It's my it's my breath. Oh. I've perfected it. It's called Ode to Buffy. She smells bad. <laughs> So, uh, you guys, send me your outros. You can do this uh, in a number of ways. You can send a uh, email to HalloweenHellmouth at Yahoo.com uh, with a link to a Dropbox or Google Drive or uh, Microsoft OneDrive. Or if it fits in an email, you can send it that way. Yeah, because I really want your outros. Just saying. Okay. I think you need some sleep. I do need sleep. Good night. Bye. Hello, my name is Nicole Flynn from Reno, Nevada, and you have been watching Beyond 1031. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Happy haunting.